Welcome to School Night. My name is Novena Carmel, and School Night tonight is brought to you by Music from Ireland. And I'm here with a group that just knocked all of our kneecaps out. Kneecap <laughs> is the name Hello. of the group. What's happening? Novena. What's happening? You all guys good. are amazing. We're still very, very sweaty. Very sweaty. I can't tell. That's a good. Um, I mean, that's kind of like a jacket that you could is for like working out in almost right, like a track jacket. Yeah, why not? Why not? You're far enough away. You and can't I see smell you're, me. You, you, uh, you're staying hydrated. We're very happy about that. 100%. 100%. And you just went and made yourself comfortable. Also it very did. happy about I'm that. Very so we had to ask him to put his treasures back on. <laughs> Our home is your home. So quickly introduce yourselves, please. I'm Makara. I'm DJ Prove It. I'm Mowgli Bap. That's and we are the yeah. <laughs> <laughs> And so welcome to LA. This is your first time here, right? Yeah, yeah, it's great. Yeah, it's great. It's treating so you nice. good. Nice weather. For a place with so much money, it's a shame about the amount of homeless people. <laughs> <laughs> the city of dreams. City of dreams, yeah. City of nightmares. City of tents. Yeah, I know. Yeah. So what would it like coming here, are there any things that you're like, oh I have to do this on my LA checklist? Oh uh, get fake tits. Get what? Fake tits. Fake tits? Yeah. Oh. We'll, oh, yeah, we'll that feels like tomorrow. an L.A. thing to do. So you're scheduled tomorrow? Tomorrow. Oh, cool. Nice. Get them on my back, but... Did you have, like, change. a doctor recommended? You look it up on Yelp or what? Yeah, the doctor. Do you know what Yelp is? Yeah. <laughs> uh, you're, taking your, you're taking yourself a hole here. You should have just went straight past that one. It's a noisy... I'm a ready dog for anything right now. He is. Okay. <laughs> I don't need a... Sunburns, boys. All right, all right, all right. I'm sunburned today. Okay. I'm sunburned as fuck. So let's get to the music. So, the, so while we were watching, like, when you first started out, there's people that are just, like, getting to know you for the first time, and a bunch of people were like, I have no idea what they're saying, but I agree. And I was kind of feeling the same way. Like, you're just selling it. But I, I also knew that... That there's like more meaning to the fact that we don't understand what you're saying. You rap in English, but also in Irish. And I didn't even realize like that that was a thing, that folks could be rapping in Irish. Like, can you tell me a little bit more about what is the reason that you do that? I mean, there's not like, there's not a lot of bands doing that, right? Yeah, well, there's not a lot of people who speak Irish. Right, okay, so <laughs> that's my other question. Yeah. How, how common is it? Okay, first of all, if you tell, tell folks right now, so like, I didn't even know that you could say Irish is a language. Like, if someone were to say that, I'd be like, you mean English. But Irish is its own language. Mm, yep. And it's a, lot, a lot older than English, actually. Oh, yeah. Older than English. Okay. And so you said not a lot of people speak it, but you guys grew up speaking Irish? Uh, I did, and then the two boys learned it in school. So, yeah. And there's a lot of, yeah, there are, there are a lot of people, but it's a small language. Well, Ireland's a small country anyway, you know what I mean? Yeah, it is. And so what inspired you then to create lyrics in Irish? We all just live together, speak Irish together, take class A's together, and then one day we uh, did all that and, one, and then went to the studio and made some music. Yeah. Any, any language that's spoken can be rapped. It's as simple as that. Like It's pretty much speaking it, just having thought it through a wee bit before you've spoke it rather than just speaking off the cuff. Yeah. Exactly. And like, it's, tw it's twice as many rhymes. Exactly. So we can we can do it in easier. Irish and English. That's true. So it has a lot more sounds, yeah. do you know what I mean? So it's actually a lot right. easier. Yeah. yeah. And we have a lot less competition. <laughs> yeah, that's true. <laughs> are there any other groups that are, like have been doing that before you? Sula Wine. Sula Wine are very good. Yeah. Sula Wine, that's by Seamus Barra. Sula Wine from... Richie Kavanagh. Richie Kavanagh. Two Johnnies. Nice. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And I mean, and is there any Put element of it that's like an establishing like your identity or reclaiming like your roots or anything like that? Or is it just like, oh, we just spoke Irish, so it's a uh, thing to do? Yeah. I mean, mostly we just speak Irish together and that's, that's our main language. We speak yeah. together and then it was, it, was, it was natural. If we all spoke English together, we'd probably just do it in English. But yeah. we just do it in Irish and it's good crack. And it's, and it's actually better that no one knows what we're saying. <laughs> Why we, is we, that? We, we, just, we just enjoyed it. I don't know. It's our, it's our <laughs> kink. Yeah. It's our kink. <laughs> What's the studio like? Are you guys producing your own tracks, or what's that experience? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. we produce. Well, most of the ones we've done tonight, we produce. But there's also like, the more that people were listening to us, the more of a sort of following we're getting. Mm -hmm. The more we were trying to push the production side of things, so we were, like, you know, bringing it the, uh, the tunes to a certain standard. Yeah. And then having someone else come in and bring that, you know, that the sauce. That sauce. On top of it, and you know, the spices on top of it and stuff. But so yeah. we, we bring it to a certain level, and then people just sort of top it up for us, and obviously we just right away from there, you know. Yeah, absolutely. Were you just checking to see if your hand would make a print on your body? Yeah. 
Cool. Did it work? I it, yeah, it. I think someone actually mentioned it. Yeah, yeah, sorry, yeah. Oh, they said it in the chat. Okay. Someone's only out for about two hours. <laughs> Speaking of the, uh, the chat, there are some questions from the audience. We do this AMA thing where folks can ask. And there's someone named Love Lover. Work Irish. What, what are y'all rapping at? about? What are y'all rapping about? Is that I don't what they know. said? <laughs> yeah, that's the question. What, are, what were y'all rapping about? Collect, collecting benefits. <laughs> um, so Lover of Potatoes is a, a name of somebody in the chat. And then they say, are ye going performing in Kerry anytime soon? I'm guessing. Chucky Arla, the most important bit of the message you didn't get. Chucky Arla. That's a good bit. Yeah. Um, and Kerry, it means our day will come. Oh, okay. Yeah. Kerry's a lovely place. I don't know if we'll be back. <laughs> Kerry? See what happens. It's ages if away. The if the money's right. It's ages away. If sure, I have to right. drive, what, six hours from Belfast to get there. I'd rather just fly 11 hours to LA. Oh, hey, yeah. Sure. We're down to have you back for sure. Thank you. Imagination Express is wondering, um, what inspired your songs? Um, psilocybin. Psilocybin. I mean, yeah, that's, I feel that. Start anyway. Yeah. Simple Simon as well. <laughs> Simple Simon. Yeah. What's Simple Simon? <laughs> uh, it's a character that Psilocybin <laughs> creates. <laughs> Is that like your alter ego? <laughs> Maybe it's got many. <laughs> do not yes, I do. Yeah, yeah. Okay, cool. Um, Rebecca's Wildlife wants to know when is that new song being released? A charity? Well, actually, we'll teach you that. Harje. A Harje. Harje. Are yours? I. Are yours? That song. wasn't bad though. Your pronunciation is good. A Harje. A Harje. Yes. Yeah, oh, you've got the CH as well. <laughs> oh. <laughs> That's. That's the oh sauce. Yeah. I want to learn a few things. Can you guys teach me something cool to say? Oh, uh, yeah. Okay. Um, Chucky Arla is the best one. Yeah. Chucky Arla. Yeah. Perfect. I uh, literally mean? got it nailed. Just means our day will come. It's like a, it's a term of endearment. Oh, cool. Like if someone brought you a fucking, I don't know, an in and out home or something, you go, Chucky Arla. Mm -hmm. Chucky Arla. That's good. And another one, uh, Dooge More Rower. What's Dude, that mean? Dooge More Rower. I mean, it's a big fat joint. You should love that in LA. <laughs> you should love joints in LA. More Rower. Dooge. Dooge More. I Rower. Dude more rower. Whoa, well, I was glad. I, I don't know how you cross fucking so good. six lane roads stoned out. Everybody I struggle to cross two lane roads at home yeah, after totally. half a joint. I know, I feel the same way. I have no idea what you just said. Yeah. Um, <laughs> so, have you smoked any big blunts while you're here yet? Not yet, actually. But okay, someone, yeah. someone actually. You know, we got that Cali weed. Someone gave me a joint on stage. Oh, nice. So. Very nice. It's legal. They're pretty fucked up. Very Pure cool. legal. <laughs> Absolutely legal, okay, mommy? <laughs> Get you fucked. So, like, what? Okay. <laughs> I'll read it for you. What? <laughs> I swear we're usually worse. You've actually got very lucky. What are the, I mean, okay, I know you guys brought, like, the flavor to the Bardo stage. How was it performing here, by the way? Was it fun for you? Did you feel like the stage was big enough for you? I feel like you guys could, like, across, like, a big-ass stage. Yeah, that's true. If the stage was a bit bigger, yeah. it would have been a bit nicer. Yeah. from Raptors uh, and shit, yeah. right? Yeah, the stage behind us. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, that's where we should put you. So what are the, the shows like at home? Yeah, pretty fun. Just us. Do cool. people go crazy? Do you guys like jump into the crowd? Do you uh, crowd? Usually, surf? usually. Oh yeah. Yeah. There was there was a lot of like post COVID. Yeah, malnourished looking people there. So I didn't want to jump on top of them just in <laughs> malnourished. case. Malnourished. <laughs> but there was a lot of people singing the lyrics back to you though. Was that that was, was pretty cool. That Did you expect good. that? Oh, actually, not really. Not really. Not really. I suppose we had about fucking. We just put up on an Instagram there, anyone that wants to come in LA, yeah. like obviously we'll put you on the door. So they're always no, scaven bastards, none of them even paid in. <laughs> but they knew the lyrics though, that's pretty yeah, that's, that's all that matters. That that means at least they've been streaming your shit and giving you like one cent. That's right, paying there. for our rent. You know, yeah, paying for well, your no, rent. Well no, because we're not flight. making any money over here, okay, in case the visas are listening. Oh no, no, we're no, We're not no making any money, we didn't money. sell just, any merch. Just PBR and blunts, that's what we uh, <laughs> barter. We take drugs. Barter in. <laughs> no money. <laughs> are there so are, are there other like artists? I mean, from when, wherever, like across the globe, that inspire you guys musically? Because uh, I feel like there's like hip hop in there, there's punk in there. I, I mean, love there's, like, Mo rape Mongolian tendencies. throat singing. Mongolian throat singing. I mean, I don't know if you're kidding, but actually, that is dope. That is dope, actually. Yeah, that yeah. I, I was joking, but it actually is class, too. Yeah, I was just trying of. to throw you off. Joke. Yeah. It was a... Yeah, 100%. Yeah. yeah. I don't know. Uh, fucking... Who's good? Who's good? Daniel Donna. Nobody. That's why we make music, so we don't have to listen to everybody else's shit. That's the, one, that's that's the, the best answer right there. So you don't listen to anybody else? Just, Mostly just, that's just our own music. Stuff. Nah, just yeah. on repeat. Just us. I yeah. get up first thing. on Spotify, so you get, you get money off I, of it. I get paid for listening to myself, so... <laughs> First thing in the morning, kneecap on repeat. I go out of the house, kneecap just on a loop, and it makes me about. See, if, if I listen to, 
Spotify. I leave our tunes on repeat in Spotify all day. I literally get about 12 p. It's great. Yeah, no, it's crazy. It's fantastic. I go out, get a mix up, a few sweets. <laughs> don't think you have mix ups over here, do you? I don't know what that is. Penny sweets. Jesus, uh, penny sweets, sweets, sweets for a cent. One cent sweets? No, you Is probably have them for breakfast. I don't know what you're candy, talking about. Candy. Oh, candy? I know what candy is. Yeah. One cent, one cent candy. Oh, cool. Anyway. That still exists? Yeah. Oh, awesome. I, Jesus. I, man, I got to get to Ireland. Dude. Oh, you do? 100%. You speak Irish now, so. Yeah, I do, Never clearly. Ireland, right? uh, you know how to say Chucky Arla. You just go anywhere and like, they'll give you a bus wherever you want. Was it true that you guys were like kicked out of your own show in Dublin? Yes, it is true. Well, how did that happen? It's true. I'm uh, sorry, mother. I'm sorry, man. We were just singing, doing our own stuff, and then the next thing, the bouncer pulls out all the chords and the music on the fucking desk, and the sound desk pulls all the chords out and carries me off like a surfboard. Why did you was, do that? It was hilarious, actually. It was funny as fuck. There was two bouncers. Uh -huh. Stop me at any point. You don't understand me, right? <laughs> but there was two bouncers. Kind of, you know, have bouncers over here, don't you? Bouncers, security. Yeah, yeah, yeah. security guards. Yeah. So one had him by the neck, and the other one had him by the <laughs> by both ankles. I was like carrying him like a surfboard through the venue. His face all red. His face was really red. You? Yeah, yeah red it, it was like just straight off the stage. They carried him off the stage. I got it was one of the funniest things I've ever seen. Wait, but you're not really telling me why you got carried off the stage. Uh, it was just to do with our lyrics and stuff, and just like our kind of behavior on stage. But like nothing that I mean, nothing they haven't we haven't done before, basically. Do you, you feel like they they booked us? Yeah. They booked us, and we done the exact same show that we would have done anyway. Yeah. And then they threw us off. But that said, it was. The most perfect PR <laughs> yeah, that ever could have now, happened. So. It was like a like, golden PR coin. So yeah. we just slatted that straight so like, in. Thank you. Kicked out of our own gig. It was fantastic. Was so is it kind of great for the media package. Is it like conservative over there, do you think, as far as like, because I mean, I saw that you guys were like banned for like having curse lyrics and talking about drugs. And I'm like, that's like normal. Yeah, well, I mean, so crazy we're not. That. It's pretty conservative, like mainstream ways on the radio and stuff. Like we don't, we, we, we don't make it on the radio at all. Yeah. Like, none of our music's on the radio. If we were on the radio back home anyway, we'd be doing something wrong. Okay. Exactly. <laughs> so that's it's the goal. It's terrible. Who even listens if to the radio? If we're not ruffling feathers, I was saying this to somebody else earlier. If we're not ruffling feathers, we're doing something very wrong. Yeah, Do you I know what I mean? So what's hip hop anyway, Jesus. Right. What's coming up for Kneecap? You guys are doing some festivals and stuff like that, yeah. right? Make one a wee holiday. You want to what? I make one a wee holiday first. Make You want to go on a holiday? Yes. You want to come? <laughs> You're more than welcome. You pick. Spin the globe, and we'll go. Okay. As long as it's not like fucking I wish Dublin. we had a globe here. <laughs> <laughs> but you're playing shows though, right? No, we're playing. Yeah, we're playing. We're doing our first European, like mainland Europe shows. We're going to Hungary. We're going to Austria for the first time. So yeah, amazing. Pretty good. Great. Any, anywhere else? Uh, uh, England. We're doing our first festival in England. Yeah. Yeah, uh, 2003. Uh, stuff. That's about it. Uh, so, if there's any bookers in America, I think that's fucking really hard. Right you see how amazing and fun they are. They are you guys, we are funny as fuck. Um, do I say you guys are the crack, crack? Is crack, that, crack, crack? Is that like a great thing? crack? Yeah, well, yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah. shit, yeah.